Hey guys, my name is Kayla Rain, and today I'm going to be doing a book review and discussion on The Kill Order by James Dashner. So if you have read the Maze Runner series, then no worries here, there's not going to be any spoilers. However, if you have not read the Maze Runner series, which is the Maze Runner, um, the Scorch Charles, and the Death Cure, then there could be some potential spoilers in here. Um, other than that, it's going to be spoiler free, other than the stuff that would ruin the series if you haven't read it, but if you have, you're in good shape, so I'm just going to start talking about it. Okay, so the general gist of this story is this is just a prequel to the Maze Runner series, and this happens 13 years before we meet Thomas and Teresa and all of the other Gladers, and it is a year after the sun flares, and it takes place right outside of Asheville, North Carolina, with this group of people who survived the initial sun flares. And our main character's name is Mark, and then we have some other characters, but the most important one is Trina, the person that he's traveled with and has known his entire life. It is the only person that ended up surviving the sun flares from his previous life. And the fact that they even survived this long is pretty awesome. However, this flying bird comes by, which is basically like, in my mind, I imagined it was like a earthly flying saucer, basically. It's very futuristic because this does take place in the future. Comes flying by their establishment and starts shooting darts out at the people who live there. For anyone who has read the Maze Runner series, we know that this is going to be the start of the flare virus. However, when they're starting to get injected with this, they don't know what it is yet. They're just thinking that it's some type of virus that they're using um, to do experiments on them or something. They're not really sure what's happening, but as they go and investigate it further, they find out that this is in fact the flare. They still don't know how serious the flare is, how contagious, how um, harmful it's going to be in the future, but they are beginning to realize that it's not quite what they thought it was. So this story switches back and forth between present time for Mark, so when he's trying to investigate what's happening to the people surrounding him and kind of what this virus is and how it's going to affect them, and it also switches back to when the initial flares happened and he kind of figured out that the world was essentially coming to an end because it was just self-destructing because the sun basically exploded and rained down radiation on everyone. I really enjoyed the pacing of this book. I thought there was a lot of really great action scenes. It was slightly horrific at points, even more so than the Maze Runner series, which I felt like had some graphic moments in it. This one went another level up on the graphic moments. Um, not so much that I couldn't read through it, but there were a couple of times where I just looked at it and I was just like, this, this is a young adult book? Whoa. I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. I did enjoy it and I want to discuss a little bit why I gave it that many stars because it seems like it pretty much bombed on Goodreads and that people generally did not like it. So my main reason for liking it is I feel like it did its job as a prequel. For me, a prequel is a book that just gives a better basis and knowledge of the world before we get into a series. Sometimes that's following characters that we already know from the series just at an earlier time, or sometimes it's also a setup for what happened before those characters were even introduced. In this case, it was that scenario where we had characters who weren't in the regular series, but were there for the setup of the series. Um, with the exception of one character, but not gonna spoil anything there. And another big thing for me with prequels is I feel like I don't need a prequel to better explain how the story happened in a series. The series should have done that itself. For me, the Maze Runner series did not explain itself very well in the last book, and I was left with a lot of questions. However, I wasn't fully expecting the prequel to answer those questions because I knew that it wasn't following the same characters, so I wasn't going to get kind of the same sense. However, this book did give me a better understanding of how the flare virus happened, how the earth was kind of destroyed by the sun flares, and how Wicked came to be. I felt like James Dashner gave us a really good picture of how the world came to be how it was when we were introduced to Wicked and Thomas and Newt and all the other bladers. So I felt like it did its job as a book and I also really enjoyed it by itself apart from the Maze Runner series which I liked the first two books in and the last one was kind of meh meh. So I would say if you read the Maze Runner series and you liked it enough to be curious about this 
totally pick it up. I wouldn't go into it expecting to have any deeper understanding of the Maze Runner series other than how the world got to be that way because this book is not going to answer any of your questions for that, which was a little bit of a bummer, but at the same time I can understand that this was more of a setup novel, a prequel to explain how the world became that way more so than to explain how Wicked works. And I am not 100% positive, but I've heard rumors that James Dashner is writing another prequel or companion novel, whatever you want to call it, that takes place with the Gladers that we know. And that is a book that I will fully expect to answer more questions from what I had from the Maze Runner series, since it is with the characters that are attached to that series. Overall, really enjoyed this book, kind of tore through it quite quickly, and I think that it was a nice addition to the book series. I, I'll say it again, I'm a little disappointed that I'm still left with questions, but this book did what it was supposed to do. Um, the last book, The Death Cure, in the Maze Runner series is what should have been answering my questions, not this one. So I'm not going to hold it against this book that it didn't do that. Alright guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay weird.